kind of crazy carnivalesque feel. You know, that's really funny. Uh, I think the, the end of I think, yeah, like maybe spring break or something. The end of when we had uh, the screen at Cal Arts first year, there was some producer from Disney, um, an Imagineers guy, that came up to me and told me it really reminded him of uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. <laughs> and uh, I hadn't been on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride <laughs> since I was 12 years old or something like this. I went on it, again, recently with my girlfriend Grace here, um, and last year with my parents, and, uh, and I realized that it's actually quite similar. <laughs> if you guys want to experience this again, you can go to Disneyland. It's, uh, it's, it's like the heat comes, you know, it's like a whole uh, sensory experience, you know, there's a heat blast and you go into hell. Nice. So. Right, any questions here? <laughs> <laughs> How did you first discover the painting which you said inspired the film? Um, that was uh, that was a book that my grandmother-in-law had given me. I mean, it. I mean, German expressionism came in kind of later. I mean, the real inspiration for the film. I mean, I was. I, I went to Czech Republic to study cinematography and then um, I was there for a year and uh, I, I finished that and I went back home and I was working at Guitar Center um, in Washington, in Totem Lake, Washington. And it was uh, fucking depressing. I mean, you, can't even imagine, you can't even imagine what it's like. I mean, this is a strip mall. Um, and, uh, it was it was uh, it was something else. I mean, it was the, it was like probably some of the darkest times in my life. And uh, so I worked there for like half the year, and I got enough money to go back to Czech Republic. I happened to be in love with this girl over there. Um, I'm not in love with her anymore, but um, I used to yeah, I used to be in love with this girl over there. And I went back to kind of try and fix this relationship, and I ended up. And I, I went back there not really knowing what I was going to do, and I, li I lived um, in, in, the, in the kitchen of my Bulgarian friend, um, Alexander, Alexander Yordano, he's in the credits, he did some of the source photography for that. But I lived in his kitchen and um, for six months in the worst district in Prague, um, and, that was, and I ended up living there for like two years all over Eastern Europe um, and, and Latvia, and I spent a lot of time in the Balkans too. But for those six months when I first came back, I didn't really know what I was doing. We were going out and binge drinking every night, like, just till, like, we would go to bed at, at, I don't know, like, six in the morning and wake up at 4 p.m. and do it, like, every day. And I saw, like, some of the most fucked up shit I've ever seen in my life <laughs> during that. I mean, there was, like, a Slovakian boxer uh, that... I, I, I don't know, there was a, there was a, a, an American guy from New York who was um, a diamond trader in, in Africa, and I'm pretty sure he was a murderer. I mean, it was, and it was, and then there was like the old, the old school people. There was like the old, um, you know, in the Czechs they called them Prajatsi, the, the old time Prague people, and they, and that was like really, I think, where the, where the carnival-esque thing came, because they were like, they were these characters, you go to these bars, and you'd see them and they would and they would just be drinking like this, you know, like without stopping and like just continuously. And um, it was like uh, I don't I don't know, I mean they, there was just no end to it. I mean they would complain about Nazis and communists like over and over and over again, and that was like the only thing on their minds. And uh, that was like my life for six months, and then I pulled my shit together and, you know, did, did something else. Woo! We've had for one more question. What's next for you? What are you